Hello everyone, my name is Vinny and welcome to Apartment Bonsai. Today's update is going to be on my root fusion project and one and a half months ago it looked like this and let me show you how it looks now. As you can see it has grown pretty nicely, I am kind of very happy with the result, considering especially that this is just a fused root, root cutting, which has become a trunk now. So this level of density of leaves and branches is amazing and this is the first time I am doing a fusion project. It uh, reminds me of this Japanese uh, maple which I often see on the internet. <clears throat> now there are a uh, couple of things I have to do on this. First is give an overall haircut. It's become too big. Some of the branches are growing too long. So they need to be cut back. And so the weaker branches are allowed to grow healthier. Uh, the leaves are too crowded right now. And sunlight is not reaching the inner branches. So I have to thin out the leaves so that better light penetration happens. And uh, the leaves have two types of pest. One is spider mite which is a big headache. It spread to a lot of the leaves. For the spider mites my plan is that after I reduce the number of leaves and do a pruning I will clean each individual leaf with a wet cloth and after that I will spray it with neem oil mixed with water. And there are also white flies which sit on the back of the leaf. So those I am actually squishing it with my hand and killing them. Once that is done, the fly problem is over till again. So I have, this has to be repeated for a couple of days. If they have already laid eggs and they have hatched, then they spread to the back of the leaf and then it is a bigger headache, which have to be scraped out with a tiny blade or a knife. Initially when this was planted, this plastic bottle was extending all the way much higher. I think it was above, it was almost double the height. So it was just above the uh, level of the cutting, way before the leaves had come. And once the leaves started sprouting, I reduced the height partially. And then more leaves started coming, then I removed this, cut it out and reduced height again and put it back. And the next, the last time when I stuck it back, it is stuck with cello tape. And when I opened it, I made sure that it is kept loose. It's not tight. So there is air gap between the plastic and the cocoa pit inside. Because I wanted air pruning to happen inside also. So this is pretty loose. If I remove this, you will see a solid uh, cube of cocoa pit standing there. I am hoping that roots have started holding it together. I don't see the roots yet from the sides. It's not visible through this. But I am hoping at least they are holding it in place. And I think it can be removed also now. I no, no longer need this. <coughs> I could have planted this in a much smaller container. But I wanted the power of a big pot. Because I want this roots to spread completely into this but I'll keep the top very short. If I put this in a small container, the growth is going to be very slow. So I'm doubling prob probably the growth time. So this way I have faster growth. The top half of the root system is in pure cocoa peat, which is filtered that too. So the fine dust is taken out. From here onwards, my soil mix starts. So this has uh, all the organic stuff. So once the fresh roots emerge and uh, start gripping the medium, they soon reach a very rich organic uh, soil mix. Initially, this uh, trunk was not very stable. When I touch it like this, it used to sway a lot more. Now it is becoming firmer. So that shows that the roots are getting a good grip inside. So it's all good. Now let me show you this is a white fly see there 
this needs to be squished. They are sitting on many of the leaves below the leaf. So they have to individually kill them. So I'll do the haircut first and thin out the leaves and then spray the neem oil and then I will show you how wiring is done on such delicate branches. They both seem to be having a similar shape. It was not intentional. This is money plant or devil's ivy and this is ficus religiosa. But one branch extends out to the side identically in both the cases. Pure coincidence. I didn't plan anything like this. Now that the rainy season has started, I am not getting a good sunlight for the top lit view. So I have had to do some arrangements. This light which is coming from top is not sunlight but from a bulb. And this is my version of the Canada arm which Nigel Saunders shows on his uh, channel. Well his setup is pretty rigid you know but mine is very flexible see. I can move this out anywhere and these clips are holding it away from the cloth. This gets very hot pretty fast. It's 100 watts bulb. That's how I'm getting a good strong light. So without this setup it would be just touching the cloth and burning it. So this is how it looks after all the leaves, excess leaves have been pruned. I cut out one branch. That's the only thing that has been removed. And many of these leaves have been cut in half so that more light enters because the leaves were too big. I want all these weak thin branches to grow strong. And this is how it looks from the side. And let me show you the trunk. As you can see lots of branches have sprouted. They are all sprouting from the more or less the same point. And from a traditional bonsai point of view this may not be so appealing. Especially to the experts or even bonsai competitions. But this is not for those people, this is for me. I am kind of very happy with what I have achieved here. And it's a very unique specimen. At places like this, the branches are too close to each other. So I want to create some separation between them. And for that I am going to put small pebbles between them. I will show you how. So I have placed small pebbles between the branches to keep them spread apart and not come too close to each other. So this way they are going to spread nicely. Whole structure is going to be very open more light will get in and these bigger branches I am going to tie them down actually on the sides, the outer sides they will be tied down and the center branches the, they are very tiny they can have uh, still some chance to grow out so I am going to help that It's kind of too early to be start wiring these because I don't have a proper place to grip things in and these inner branches are too tender. So I'm going to wait on the wiring but I'll show you what I was planning to use. This is soldering wire. And this is extremely flexible. Very soft. So this kind of a wire would be perfect for you know, the tender branches like this. So my current problem is I don't have too much of a place to tie it down to. So I am going to wait for the branches to slightly thicken up, especially the inner ones. 
and then this will be used and it should serve my purpose this is softer than aluminum I have opened up the cello tape here and as you can see small roots are beginning to emerge more roots here some more here so since this plastic is not kept tightly there is a air gap on the border and that helps in the root pruning so i'm going to keep this for some more time i want more roots to reach the edge and they will die or dry up and this will further trigger more branching inside more branching of roots once that is uh, fairly dense i'm going to remove this and have a second layer of substrate or coco peat and have this sloping down so i'm trying to build a, a tapered root structure and of course this is sitting on a bowl so that itself will add to this further it has been taped up now and you can see the gap one second there's so much gap on the edges my final bonsai pot will be of the same diameter but very shallow something till here and this extra pot depth is going to help me get extremely fast growth on this so even when i prune very hard the regrowth is pretty fast because there is so much root structure inside this if i had kept it in a shallow bowl or a pot the growth would be much slower so for these two branches i have made hooks which are just clipped on the edge of the pot if more tension is required i can tie a knot here so for the time being just two branches are enough there is a third one which is which is already hanging down by itself as some of these expand i'll make sure they are spread out evenly so this branch can come down a little bit more right now i think more or less everything is done now i just have to spray neem oil on this for the spider mite 